Many are certainly putting their hope in the pandemic coming to an end with a vaccine. There are pharmaceutical companies across the globe that are now working feverishly to make that happen. But if a vaccine is actually found in the coming months, that would be unprecedented. Typically, the process takes years due to government oversight. But a newly launched program called Operation Warp Speed is spending billions of dollars to safely speed up the process. Tonight, our Bob Woodruff begins our weekly series with a look at where things stand. And he speaks with the CEO of a company who hopes to have a vaccine by the end of the year. The race to develop a COVID-19 vaccine is accelerating. Of the four vaccine companies to receive money from the government's new so-called Operation Warp Speed, this week, Novavax became the highest funded, $1.6 billion. Now the uh, expensive part gets going, which is getting into human clinical trials. We're trying to scale up from very small scale production into large scale production to be able to make 100 million doses uh, starting by the end of this year. Those 100 million doses will be produced before the company knows the vaccine is safe and effective, a huge financial risk. But Novavax has worked on coronavirus vaccines for SARS and MERS in the past, as well as a vaccine for Ebola. Why was your company chosen for this? We've been making vaccines for uh, infectious, emerging infectious diseases since I've been there for the last decade. So our technology is, is a bit different from most others. There are no guarantees, but Novavax and others are optimistic there will be a viable vaccine, possibly by the end of this year. If this turns out to be a very efficient, good vaccine, when do you think we would get the chance to take it? I think we expect to have vaccine available, produced, and on the shelf of some warehouse by the fourth quarter of this year. The first people to get it are going to be the frontline healthcare workers, and they'll get the first 50 million doses or however many doses, and then it'll start to spread out for people who are who are most at risk of, of getting seriously ill. Another recipient of Operation Warp Speed funds, Moderna, acknowledged that there have been differences of opinion with the U.S. government. Despite that, both the U.S. government and Moderna agree that its vaccine is advancing faster than any in modern history. Moderna says it's on track to deliver 500 million doses of its vaccine in 2021. This is Bob Woodruff, tracking the race for a vaccine. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.